Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We have yet another reasoning model on our hands. This time it is DeepCoder. DeepCoder is a specialized model which has been designed to reason about code problems. This specific version, which is DeepCoder 1.5 billion preview, is a smaller scale language model that's fine tuned to handle coding and problem solving tasks. It is based on DeepC Carbon which itself is derived from Quinn's distilled version and it's trained using a technique called as distributed reinforcement learning or RL to handle very long contexts. We are going to install it locally and then we are going to check out how exactly this works. One thing I want to clarify before I proceed towards the technical hands-on is what exactly is meant by reasoning here. In plain English, Reasoning means the model is not just spitting out memorized code snippets, but instead truly tries to logically understand problems, reason through their complexities, and then produce meaningful and correct code solutions. This ability to reason helps it handle new tricky situations better, making the model smarter and more useful for solving coding problems it hasn't explicitly seen before. So that is what we are going to check out in this video. The tool which I'm going to use for this is text generation web UI. I already have it installed. If you don't know how to install it, just go to my channel set with Ubabuga. And this is where we install the Ubabuga or text generation web UI, which is a simple user interface on top of model. I have explained it in very simple words in this video. So please check it out. As you can see, my text generation web UI is already running here. I'm just accessing it at my local host at port 7860. The first step we need is to go to model on the left hand side. And then from here, we need to download the model for that. Simply go to the models hugging face page and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Grab the repo and model name just by clicking on this icon and then paste it here where um, I'm just pasting the repo and this and then just simply click on download button. So the model is being downloaded. So let's wait for it to finish. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video. So Mast Compute is sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is a VM and this is a GPU NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus so please do check them out also this video is sponsored by camel ai camel is one um, great tool which enables you to have um, distributed communities and also focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And you can also find their link in video's description. And the model has been downloaded successfully as you can see here. And then just click on this refresh icon on the top left. And then if you just click on this drop down, your model will be shown here. And then click on load, it is going to load onto our GPU. As you can see, there you go. So it is also loaded. If I quickly check the VRAM consumption now, it is just consuming around just close to four gig of VRAM. Not bad for this size of model. Okay, so let's click on chat in the left and let's talk with this model. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to test this model to see how this model can reason handle long context and demonstrate deep logical reasoning. So first up, I'm going to give it this question where I'm asking it that you are given a large text input around 10 to 20 K tokens. The text contains random sentences, hashtags and numerical patterns that you usually repeat, but slightly change each time. Identify all numeric patterns that match this rule. And then there is a rule. And then I have just given it the starter or the signature of the function. And let's see what it does here. Let me click on generate. 
and the model has started so just like in the chain of thought it is trying to understand what exactly is the ask here and then it is going step by step checking its responses outlining the sketch of what exactly it is going to build and then checking its response and saying wait wait no looking back so again it is doing sort of self-reflection and that is what we see in these models while it produces it let's also talk about another technique which it has taken from uh, the deep sea so it also uses something uh, called as grpo plus which is an enhanced version of grpo and if you have been following my channel we have covered this grpo a lot which is a guided reward policy optimization that has been around for some time but got famous due to the deep seek grpo is a reinforcement learning algorithm and deep coder uses it during its training so grpo primarily helps the model improve at tasks like coding or mathematical reasoning in a structured way by giving it rewards for correct and logical answers this basically tells the model you are doing a great job keep reasoning this way but deep coder actually uses uses an enhanced version called as grpo plus this improved version borrows ideas from another rl method named as depo or dapo which is difficulty aware policy optimization that helps avoid some training pitfalls some key ways to improve grpo include removing computationally costly online difficulty sampling and instead doing offline filtering what that means practically is that they carefully pick a good range of pro problem difficulties ahead of time to keep the training balanced also they remove the entropy and KL losses which are two extra components because these sometimes made um, make the training unstable and there are a lot of other things which they have done you can read through it about in the paper or the hugging face page so let's go back up and you see it has done wonderfully well while we were talking it has taken some of the examples it has created some pseudo code and then finally after checking everything it has given us not only the approach but also the solution code which looks spot on it is using the proper patterns with sort of regex and then it is producing it it has also given us the explanation so i think very very fine answer remember the model is just 1.5 billion okay next up i'm going to ask it a nested mathematics question so i'm just asking you to define me a special math function as follows and then keep track of each value and i have also given it a signature of the function what it needs to do so again we are trying to check here how it does a multi-step math and then produces the logic so i'm just going to let it run so that you could watch that uh, and this is really really i would say quite uh, fantastic to watch this reasoning happening in real time how the model is progressing sometimes it just produces gibberish but most of the time it's just fascinating to watch how exactly it is thinking primarily just you know lightening up all the uh, neurons within its model structure in all the layers going back and forth so very beautiful to watch you see the but wait let's think so it is thinking going back anyway i will let it uh, complete its run and this was a hard one took long time to respond and it is done so i'll just quickly take you above a bit so you see this is all the raw reasoning and then when i come down there is the approach it has followed and the summary is just amazing i mean can't really explain my uh, appreciation for the approach summary which it produces after all the reasoning it has done it and it is quite lengthy reasoning i pause the video and then this is a solution code which is again is right on the money great stuff and the explanation is totally matching what we asked it to do finally let's also check it out with the long context thing so i'm asking it that you are given an initial large number list size do the iterations and then continue the transformation and then report the sum of the numbers again this is going to be big so you see it is just breaking down it is checking the reasoning let's wait for it to finish and we will check out what it does
Okay, it was pretty clever. This time it didn't do much, but again, it has reached to the final conclusion. I think it is just still using the previous uh, stuff. Maybe we just need to open a new chat, but I think this looks really, really good. Very happy with the stuff here. So because in this one model reuse the previous reasoning, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open a new chat maybe. And let's click here. This is a new chat. And now let me ask it a graph traversal question. Again, this really demands a long reasoning. So let's see what model does here. And the model has again done a lengthy reasoning and now it is showing us the approach. It looks pretty good. Already you can even tell from the reasoning um, that the quality of model is really exceptional here. And the solution code again looks right up to the mark. So that's it. Yet another exceptional outstanding answer. So very happy with the deep coder. Try it out. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.